What's good, everyone? Aggie Coach here. All right, guys, so we're finishing up the 3-4. This time, uh, in the last video, we did the 3-4 against the run, right? So we're finishing up our defensive series here uh, with the 3-4. This time, we're going to illustrate how the 3-4 can be used, just an example of how it can be used against the pass, right? So what we've done is we've taken our fullback and we've slotted him to the top of the screen, right? So he is playing um, he is playing in the slot right now. And what we're doing, what we're doing with the 3-4, it is in cover two. So we have our two safeties there over top, right? But what we're gonna do here, we're gonna do something a little unique with the 3-4, because I just want you to see um, how complex you can make your 3-4 defense. Uh, and how rewarding the Fat 8 rule system can be, especially when you're playing against someone else and you're scheming against that person. I personally enjoy scheming against myself because the harder I can make it, the better. But um, what we're doing here with the 3-4, we are going to do zone man press. So up at the top of the screen, as you can see, I have my cornerback up here. He is 1 by 12. 1 by 12. So he's 12 yards off the ball, 1 yard to the inside, right? That's very important for zone because I want him to cover from the 35-yard line up to the 20-yard line, right? I want him to cover all of that area. And if he needs to if he needs to back off, he has enough space between him and the receiver that he can back off. Now, there's a reason that I'm doing this. That receiver over there, um his name is Augustus. He is one of the fastest receivers in the FedEx Conference. And um, man to man, he will burn you. So when when talking about matchups, right, um, that's the reason that we do the, the 40. We do the 40-yard dash for all the athlete positions um, because it, it really kind of gives me some insight into, like, the best way to do matchups. And in this case, um, this cornerback will be outmatched. Uh, if he were playing him man to man. So because I know that, you know, that's how it is in football, right? Like you have to be careful who you match, who you match people up against because taking advantage of those matchups is a part of the game. So in this case, he's going to play zone. He's going to back off Augustus, right? He's going to be 12 yards deep, one yard to the inside, take that inside position away. And he's going to play zone right here. Now, he has the support from the outside linebacker. That outside linebacker is also going to be playing zone in that area. And if they need further backup, they got the free safety over top to give them the extra cushion. All right. Now, this is where the man coverage is down here. So um, this cornerback down here is head up, right? And he is just simply six yards deep. So he's going to come up. He's going to be playing press. So he's going to come up inside of that five-yard cushion. Make contact with the receiver, turn and run, right? So that is what we got there. What we're going to be doing with our linebackers, right? Um, our linebackers, our middle linebackers, they are going to play the gaps. They're going to make sure um, that, 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 uh, that quarterback doesn't try to pull off any kind of play action or any quick runs up the middle. They're going to just pop up a couple steps and then they're going to back off, right? And the free safety here is going to play um, is going to play the high third. So he's going to stay here. He's going to just stay home. And if anyone if any one of these receivers down here at the bottom of the screen um, break into the open, he can pick them up. Right. So that's what we got here. OK, so the three four defense with cover two zone man press. So. All right. So we're going to go ahead and take the snap. And there we go. So notice our cornerback down here came up. And you can see where he is getting ready to apply pressure on that cornerback, on that receiver. So he's taking a lot of the receiver spacing away. So that's good. Okay. And the free safety um, here at the bottom of the screen is also staying at home. Okay. So now let's see what's going to happen here. You see the zone coverage up here at the top of the screen. All right. So we're gonna make some small adjustments here. I'm gonna do this quickly. Uh, I want to have this receiver, I want to have him run a slant across the middle. So the cornerback is gonna to have to turn and run. So we're gonna just pivot him to turn and run with that receiver. 
They're going to do an X out here. So I'm going to have this slot. He's going to X out. So he's going to head to the flat. And this is where that free safety is going to have to come and pick him up. Because our outside linebacker, our outside linebacker has to play back out the backfield. Just in case, right? He has to play back out the backfield. So free safety is going to come up here and, and pick up the slot man. We're going to blitz off this corner with this outside linebacker. We just want him, we want this outside linebacker to come in here and take all of this space away to stop this running back. Either force him to block, but definitely not let him get out in the flat um, to catch a screen pass. Okay. So we're going to adjust our blockers because remember, offensive linemen cannot go downfield on pass plays. So I'm going to have him double team right here, and I will have him double team right here. Okay. What do we want to do with our running back? Right. We know we want our running back to come out here. So we'll see if maybe the running back gets open. Okay. Now for the linebackers, you have some options. If your plan was to run blitz in the A and B gap, now is the time, right? So linebackers can crash down and they can run blitz. But because we're doing zone, we're going to have these linebackers drop back. We're not going to have them. We're not going to have them do blitz right now. We're going to have them drop back. Okay. Safety over top. He's going to cover. And we want to make sure that Augustus does not get in the open. Because Augustus is the dangerous one. I can tell you that right now. Um, he is a problem. So, I'm going to have... I'm going to have this cornerback just drop back. And just kind of play him. Because I want to see if he actually gets open. Now remember guys, this is taking this is taking this much time because I'm taking my time explaining everything. But if we were actually playing against each other, it would not take this long because when you know what you want to do, you do it you do it quickly. All right, let's see what happens. So we're gonna have these guys run their route. See who gets open. So just what I was talking about. So let's look at it. The safety came up, as I said, he came up and he played the X-Men. Right. We got our slant going across the middle. OK, this outside linebacker is playing the back out the backfield. So if you dump that ball off here, this linebacker will make that tackle. At least he should. OK, we got two guys under the umbrella right here. It's good that that, as you can see, that middle linebacker did not get caught up in the wash. He didn't run into that line. He stayed back. So if the slant comes across the middle, right here, you got two guys to make the tackle. That's excellent coverage there. Okay, we got our slot man. So he is actually open. But again, there are three orange jerseys around the ball. And look at the coverage. Look at this. The safety came up and played Augustus, Bo Augustus. It's good the safety came up and played him and took that passing lane away. Because the cornerback is slightly out of position. He did keep him in front of him, but there's enough bodies here to stop a big play. So now let's see if I can actually complete a pass. Uh, let's see who is open. Okay, let's see who's open. Who can the quarterback throw to? Bo Augustus is definitely covered. Look at that. He's definitely covered. Okay. The fullback here, number 45, he is open. And that slant might be hard to hit from here. Throwing it over the line, that may be an interception. And then, of course, number 87 out here who's being covered by the free safety. All right, guys, where do you think I should go? Let's see. Let's see who can we hit. Oh, picked off. That's a tough throw. That's a tough throw. I'm going to try it one more time. That's a tough throw. This is really good defense. 
Uh, that's the one thing about the three four, as you guys can see, that like it actually keeps the receivers. If you do it right, it keeps the receivers underneath, and you know you want to not let them get behind you. See if I can complete this. No, that's a very difficult pass to make because you actually have to throw. You have to throw this thing over the bodies and get it to drop down. Um, the quarterback can actually do that. I'm going to do this one more time, and then I'm going to stop this video. So let's see. I'm going to try. Give it one more quick shot and see if I can actually do it. Got him. Completed. So tough pass to make. Tough pass to make, but I did complete the pass. And as you can see, he's going nowhere, right? So there are three bodies around him. They would make the tackle. He might potentially get the first down because that looks like the ball was spotted at the 25. So that still is a huge gain uh, for the offense. But just a good point to show you guys how to 3-4 if you're running zone or if you're running man or if you match up both sides and run man or match up both sides and run zone. There are lots of things that you can do. You can mix your zone coverage with your cornerbacks, with your secondary. You can mix your zone coverage with your, with your linebacking core. Or you can go man-to-man. -man. You know, you can pull one linebacker up and, and cover the slot man. If you want, you can put him up into press coverage. You can drop him back in the zone. There's a whole bunch of options that you have. You have to decide on what kind of scheme you want to run here, right? I'm not giving you all the answers. I'm just giving you some examples of what I like to do, right? So this is just the way that I like to run the 3-4, right? So I'm going to stop it here, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back. Happy New Year's, everyone. I will be back. We will be getting on to the 44 defense, one of my favorites.